Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do a Game of Thrones character and this time I'm gonna be drawing Jon Snow. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, let's draw Jon Snow here and this image is pretty cool, you know, uh, he's got some cool lighting, you know, you can see there's a lot of rim lighting from the sides. So it makes for a more interesting uh, drawing, you know, at least for shading. It's, it's a lot more interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna draw too big, so I'm gonna start out with his left eye. Just gonna rough that in as best as I can since we don't have any other reference points. And I'm using a 6B, so it's gonna be very soft, very light. Well, I mean, soft, and I mean, it can, it'll go real dark, but it'll be very nice and soft at the beginning. Okay, so I'm just gonna rough in. That might be off, but let's just keep going. Um, okay, so, so the, let's see, there's a slant. So I'm gonna draw in a little slant. Looks like it's going down a little bit. And then the distance between the eyes, um, it's on a three quarter view. So it's gonna be slightly, probably like slightly less than, looks like it's just right about the width of t his left eye. I mean his right eye, sorry. I'm gonna go straight down. And his eyes is, this eye is like pretty much in shadow, so I have to fill in some of this stuff. All right. Yeah, let's just kind of, okay, let's just keep going. Looks like it's a little bit off, but maybe you can adjust for it. So now we can do the eyebrows. This eyebrow looks like it needs to be a little bit lower. So let me correct that real quick. So it's definitely got his eyebrow slanting downward and very deep sockets here. Okay, this is, all right, I'm almost tempted to erase part of it. But let's just keep going. Um, all right, so if I measure his nose, okay, I'm gonna go straight down, let's see, from his eyeball, like if you go vertical, it looks like from the edge of the eyeball, if you go straight down vertical, you're gonna hit his nose somewhere. And then to get the angle of the nose, like how far down does it go, I'm gonna go from the corner of his eye. Looks like it's kind of this angle. Okay, so now we know he's gonna meet up right around there. That's gonna be the wing of his nose. All right, so let's go from there. Uh, same slant here, and then we can measure this angle right here, going down this way. That should give us, and then we go straight down from here. I'm just double checking. Yeah, it's right around there. So his nose would be right around here. Okay, that's just nostrils. Something is bothering me about his eye right here. Maybe because it's all dark. Maybe I got it a little bit too close. All right, okay. All right, let's just keep going. Looks like his nose, yeah, something is off. All right, let's just keep going. We can try to adjust for things. All right, his lip, we're going down. He's got a mustache. It's gonna come all the way out to the side of his eye right here. Like we go straight down. And then his lip. Okay, and then let's see how f his lip, how far does it go down again? We, if we continue the line to the, from the nose, we go straight down. It's just pretty much right around here. So it's gonna be, this corner of his mouth is gonna be right around there. All right, and then let, well, let's go on to the other side. So we can actually do this angle right here. I'm trying to measure. It's like a slight angle. That, is, that, that would be his other corner of his lip. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna fill in everything in between. So once we have that, it's a little bit easier. Okay, so this is in shadow. I mean, this is in the shade. Okay, I'll rough that in. Okay. Kinda. I'm gonna have to start shading to see because the, the, the shadow plays so much in this in his face right here. All right, so now let's go um, just rough in the his face. So his chin. Let's see if you measure it, it's a little bit it's kind of big chin, kind of halfway, somewhere around here. Okay, let's go, go, and then all the way through. All right, all right. 
Yeah, so the, the eyes are definitely, maybe, I think his eyes are a little, little bit longer. Okay, so let's go. Okay, all right, let's, let's start shading. Okay, so I'm just gonna rough it that in. Let's shade in this eye right here. So I'm using, again, this is six piece, so it's very blunt. Right now it's just, I kinda like to leave it blunt at the beginning, just because, you know, when, when the pencil is too soft, you, I mean, too sharp, you know, your, your strokes are a little bit, um, you know, too narrow, and it makes, you, it makes you a little tight, you know? You wanna kinda keep it soft so you can, you know, make these kinda strokes broad strokes it's a little bit easier to uh, to sketch okay so his eye slants down I think that's what's throwing me off here this is gonna slant down inward here like that because there is an overall tilt and there's a there's a at least for me there's a tendency to draw things straight you know that's why these kind of tilt lines are very important just it helps to keep reminding you you know that the slant. Okay, so even here, I mean, I don't think I went to the slant enough. So you gotta, you, that's why like in drawing, you know, you really need to like just throw yourself off and ignore what you're trying to, what you're seeing and just, just draw what you see. You know, don't forget about that being the face and all. Sometimes you gotta do that. All right, so let's do, move on to his other eye. His eye is very long right here. His eye right here is all dark, so it's a little bit hard to see here. It looks like this corner here, his eyeballs. And this is all gonna be in the shade. How's that look? I think that looks, yeah, it looks a little bit better. Okay, so it's kind of dark, so let, just let me shade that in without putting in too much detail. So let's see if I can judge the lightness a little bit better. Okay, his so eyebrow, again, slanting downward. Okay, and well, we can actually put in some shading. So I think that will help. So it, it, right here, his eyes is pretty dark. And let's see, he's got a little bit of bag here, the lower lid. Okay, and it's got another a little bit of bag right there. And then let's see, yeah, it's hair shadow. All right, let's just skip that for now. Let's move on to, uh, to the bottom of the face. It looks like I need to push this features a little bit over. Okay, let's just see. Okay, this is his hair coming down. It's a very straight face, very angular, right? This almost comes, sinks in a little bit. There's a little bit of curvature this way. All right, so let's draw his nose. His nose is dark here. So these kind of shatterings are pretty cool. It's a lot more interesting to draw. Now, I'm not going too hard because I'm, I'm kind of not sure if it looks like him. So I'm kind of being yeah, I'm being a little more more gentle. I think if I have the lines drawn in already, I'll probably shade it harder, but just in case I'm way off, you know, it gives me a way to fix things. All right, so let's draw his lip. Looks like it, his lip needs to go over a little bit. So straight down, this is dark. Dark, his lips comes in more, yeah. So his bottom is, yeah, okay, so this, this, that's his corner right there. Here's the V shape. Right. It's very it's a general feature on the lip. And I talk about that in my other videos. On here's this other side, dark. Okay, there's a little bit of lines always coming down this way, contouring the lip. And then here. Bottom of the lip is always dark. And there's a pouch here, and then this gets a highlight. So remember that, right? So it's very general features of the lip. So it's kind of nice to just know some very, you know, general uh, 
features on anatomy so that you can, you know, when you, when you see it, so you can catch it a little bit quicker. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's, well, let's go back up. I'm going to do the face here. It looks like he probably needs to make his face here a little bit bigger. Yeah, it looks like he's got a bigger chin. It's almost like a... Yeah, okay. Looks like his face up here needs to be a little bit skinnier. Something's throwing me off up here. Okay. It's dark. Needs to tick in a little bit earlier. This curvature right here. All right, so let's go. Uh, we can do a little bit of hair just to bring us into the character a little bit more. And the hair does help, you know, to bring in the lightness. So let's see, make sure I'm in frame. Okay, the top of his head is like, uh, if you measure, it's kind of like almost double the distance of this. So we have somewhere right here. All right, his hair coming over. All right, and then a shadowing and his beard. Okay, so I think that kind of looks like him. I, th I think once we put the shadow in, it'll probably be a lot better. All right, so let's let's do another pass. Now that we have certain of some of these features nailed in, you know, we're not gonna change that much. So I made his eyebrow there a little bit too dark. So it's actually very light up here. All right, I'm being a little bit more tentative, but let's let's go. Hopefully, I can loosen it up a little bit now that I have the reference points marked in. Dark, dark. I'm trying to see things in chunks. This is darker. This is dark. Try to avoid drawing hard lines. You know, just kind of try to shade it so you don't get that flat look. Okay, so my, my pencil is still very blunt, which is fine. Because if I want a sharp edge, what I'll do is you just turn the pencil a little bit and you get a slightly sharper edge. Okay, so he's looking downwards, slanting down a little bit. All right now, let's look at this eye right here because I can't. Yeah, for some reason it's hard for me to see right there because it's all black. I'm looking at an image on a Galaxy Note. Looks like I have the setting too dark or something. And sometimes there's a lot of contrast in this in these photos, so you can't get lost. But I think it looks like something like this, right? We kind of guess right because we do know the general features of the eye. Okay, so this is in shadow. Lower lid up here, down here. This is dark. This eyebrow needs to be a little bit lower. Very thick. Okay. Yeah, I think this is starting to look like him once once I started shading, right? All right, so let's shade more of his face. Uh, let's see, this is darker. See, I have to make this darker because this, this right here is very light. So if I don't make this dark, you know, this 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 area won't won't show up much. Okay, so I'm gonna so shading. This area is darker. Here's a terminator here going all the way around his face from the rim lighting. So I'm just, I just so I just did like a kind of like a real soft line, you know, not not too hard. At least not in the beginning. Okay, his nose right here. And see this part right here is very cool lighting, you know. It's, it's, and then un, underneath the nose right here, obviously the nostril is dark. And then the shadowing right here, whereas the tux in is also dark. Looks like there's a lot, a lot of little shadowing going on too from both sides of the lighting, both sides of the rim lighting. Okay. Bottom, I always like to do. You can see it in the in the reference too. It's, there's a little bit of darkness right here because, you know, um, most lighting out from the from the top. So this thing, this thing curves inwards. 
There's always a little bit of shadowing going on. Okay. All right, starting to look like him. Feel a little bit better about this drawing. <laughs> yeah, sometimes at the beginning, you just, it's hard to tell sometimes. All right, so let's, let's make his lip a little bit darker. Put in some more detail. Let's shade in some of his beard. And I'll probably just do a little bit more so, and then I'll finish it off with a speed drawing. It's a little bit easier if I can put my head over it and draw. Okay. But you, you see, this is like, uh, I know I'm, I'm going a little bit slow and which is not a great thing, but I want to be a little bit looser. But, you know, after this, it's just really you know, more, more of this kind of shading, right? You see what I'm doing, just kind of these little wiggle shapes. And I'll put in some lines whenever I can. Um, but it's just, from this point on, it's just a lot of little observations and try to see it and then shade it. So, and, and overall it's not very dark, it's actually still very light. Um, but the complete, you know, the range is almost there, right? From the, from the dark to light, it's just, there's a consistency here. And then, you know, after I finish this, this, um, this pass of shading, I can go in again and, you know, make it, make everything darker. So you kind of push everything into another, into another level, right? So that's, that's, that's how you can do it. Um, I mean, that's how I do it because I'm, I'm really not sh too sure at the beginning, you know, so Rather than making a big mistake off right off the bat, I'll just kind of go slow. I mean, I wish I can be more accurate, but it does take time. Also, if I do it slow, it's actually easier for you guys to see, right? So, okay, I mean, it's starting to look like him, and uh, yeah, I might just go a little bit darker because I think I kind of like this look. All right, so I'll finish this uh, off screen and uh, I'll be right back to show you how it looks. Alright, I'm back and here's my final drawing for this Jon Snow character and I think overall I was able to capture his features so it does look like him. Um, now the hair, uh, I kind of want to talk about it because it's, it's, there's so much, uh, you know, this kind of curly hair is a little daunting and, and really when I was working uh, my way around when I got to here, I'm like, oh my god, it's like, how much longer is this going to be? <laughs> so this size is uh, it's a little bit more complicated, um, so I kind of just kind of you know, kept it simple, and and I didn't want to push the face too dark because if I did, then I, I got to push the hair a little bit more too. So, so that's kind of the reason I left this a little bit lighter uh, than usual and just kind of left it a little bit softer, um, just so that I don't have to do too much of the hair. And uh, it's just, and I used the f um, the his um, what well, his clothing right here, the fur. For framing, you know, so that I can end it somewhere, you know, because you kind of want to frame it somehow. And I think I don't want to keep drawing this fur anyway, so I think this offers a nice framing, so I can just kind of wrap it up like this, you know. 
So whenever you do any kind of portrait, it is uh, important to think about that, you know, how you can finish it up, you know, wrap it up, you know, put it into a complete package so that we can, you know, keep the uh, focus onto the face. But uh, overall, I think this one turned out fairly well, and uh, yeah, it's a really cool character from Game of Thrones, you know. So, hope you guys like this drawing, and if you do, please do give me a thumbs up or share the video, and I will see you next time.